Well, let's see, Jose, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So far, the same. good. Was a really um, could be easy day, but busy day because my first my first four hours I have to join in in one meeting. So Already? yeah, they teach us uh, other tool that we're going to use. Okay, and they they. Told us or they are teaching us? Yeah, they told a new tool that we going to use. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, yeah that how was did really you go? interesting. You got oh, it? What? Yeah, I got, got everything. It. Yep, I got everything. Now I familiar with uh, their, their asin. Oh, yeah, you are working with Indians, right? Yeah, I work with Indians. That's cool. Yeah, so now I'm familiar with their accent. And it's really good because when I speak with uh, maybe American people or uh, other kind of, of nationality uh, that they speak English, I understood a lot. I understand a lot. So it's really good. So it was really good. It was really good day. Well, it is really good day. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So glad to hear it. You know, it's always good when you say that you have had a good day, a productive day. Because sometimes, you know, the job is stressful or stuff like that, right? Yeah, that's right. That's right. But in my case, I, I, I really like it. That's nice. I like it. I like it. It's always good to have a good attitude. And yeah. it's always better when you enjoy what you do, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I, I think that every day... My knowledge is increasing. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. Well, that's important. I yeah. Think. And also but, for English too, a lot, because I understand a lot of vocabulary. Um, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe uh, my listening is improving. So, I'm yeah, really glad to, to be cool. in that position. It's good that you have the opportunity to practice constantly. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, because I mean, some people, they always have the problem that they cannot, that the only time that they practice, the, that they get in contact with the language is through the class. And I mean, it's good to be able to practice in the class, but I mean, you always need a little bit extra. And in your case, I mean, it comes with your job. That's great. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. My job is is giving a good opportunity to improve. It's giving me a chance or a good opportunity to improve, yeah? It's okay. Yeah. Just I, I just I have to improve my my well. I don't know. Maybe some some grammar. Some grammar, I guess. Well, mm -hmm. stay tonight after the class. I'll give okay, you some perfect. tips. Okay. Excellent. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I mean, the idea is to help each other. Yeah. And it's good when you tell me exactly what you need me to help you with because I can give you the exact material you need. Okay, perfect. That's the idea. Improve okay. every day, every single day. Excellent, excellent. Welcome, Jose Lupero. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for us.
Okay, let's see. Heidi. Hello, Heidi. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Let's see. We are. How's everything? Everything's going great. That's nice. Wow. I like that attitude. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. And tell me what's new. How was your day? How's business? Uh, it was great. I received the I received the note for the auditory we had. Oh yeah, we, I remember. Uh, and we got go? 90. We got 90. Okay. It's a good grade. And that, that was exactly my next question. Uh, is it a good grade? You are you satisfied with that? That's something different because I mean you can get a good grade, but perhaps you expected or wanted more. Wanted more. I always want more. But, but according to, to your <laughs> according to your point of view, according to your criteria, tell me, is it fair? Yes. Does it reflect when I on the they, job they of give your? They you, give you the chance to to to. If you don't agree with 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 an issue, they give you the chance to for you to to ask for uh, reconsideration to reconsider for them to reconsider. But you ask that when you know you're right. But when things are so evident, you better not. Okay, so I mean it's fair. Mm -hmm. It re it reflects the the the. The job, the performance of your team. Yeah, it does. So that means that it opens also new doors of improvement. Exactly. Okay, well, that's cool. I mean, sometimes, uh, as we were, if you remember, uh, as we were talking in the last module, evaluations, I mean, I mean, when you evaluate your people, it also reflects on what you are doing and it lets you know which areas you need to, to work more, to improve and to perhaps to guide in, not in a better way, perhaps in with a different approach. Mm -hmm. Because remember, uh, I mean, in any job processes and everything, it's, uh, it's learning. And not all techniques apply and work the same for everybody. So you gotta look, perhaps, which is the 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 part of the process that needs more attention, that needs you to focus on, yeah, and I work know. on it. And I I know we got a chance to improve, but being such a big branch for me is is very good, great. Okay, excellent, excellent. So glad to hear it. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, evaluations are interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I had a, I had one actually last last week, and and actually our could be like our supervisor came and let us know certain points that we need to improve, and it's nice because it let me get things uh, after checking out and doing the job in the same situation as yours. And I've been working on it this week and I have realized that some processes that I'm doing I'm, are gonna make my job easier. So mm -hmm. it's good, but believe me, it's a lot of work. <laughs> I know. It's a lot of work because right now I'm like, uh, this is the hard week for me, I got Homeworks from the university. I got. Uh, I gotta check homeworks. I gotta fix some stuff. I need to work on on that exactly on changing some processes, and I need to also create. A, well, not create, but modify the the supervision system for my coworkers. So the the document we use for supervising 
uh, each other needs to be changed and I'm in charge of that. Uh, it's not that easy, but it's interesting. I mean, it's a good challenge. And you know, challenges are always good for you. Keeps your brain awake. Sure, and certainly make, makes you grow, right? Yeah, sure, sure. I'm so glad for you. So glad that you got something good. It's nice. Welcome, Heidi. Nice having Thank you here. You, teacher. Thank you. Nice being here with you guys. Okay, let's see who else is around. Hey, Mr. Rivas, Jose Rivas, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Doing great. Thank you for asking. Man, I like that. Doing great. That's cool. So tell me, what's new? How was the day? Uh, so was good, was good, but actually at the beginning of, of the day was good, right? Because then so I went to the doctor because I got like problem. So because I, I felt irritated and also I don't know how to say it, like the Lord the Cuerpo. Oh, really? Bad ache? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, and what did the yeah. doctor say? So that probably it will be a flu. So that is start a flu. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, that's but, pretty uncomfortable. Mostly yeah. uncomfortable. Yeah, working, so I'm feeling that sensation actually, so it's not good. So I asked for permission and I went to the doctor. And then, so I rest for two hours. My supervisor gave me the, the opportunity to rest for two hours and then uh, return to my work. They can call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, as you said, it's, it's uncomfortable. So good that you have the chance to rest a little bit because, man, you got the, the discomfort of all the symptoms. And on top of that, you got the weather. It's so weird, sometimes hot, sometimes a little bit fresh. And when you got the flu, that's a hellish situation, right? Uh, yeah, and for men, so for men, so it's kind of complicated, right? So because I'm the person that what I, I, I feel those kind of sensations, so it's like, well, I'm dying. Yeah, 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 I mean, I have always said it. Uh, the flu for us guys is worse than for ladies. They're gonna kill me here. Yeah, so it's right. Yeah, so the, are... the good thing so that is that tomorrow is my day off and Friday too. So and I will oh, rest. Really? Yeah, that, that's why I didn't ask for like incapacidad because it's just one day, so it's no good. <laughs> so that's why I didn't ask for that. But okay, that's nice. That's nice. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you, Mr. Rivas. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Juan Carlos, hello. Tell me. Uh, hi, teacher. I, I wanted to ask you, uh, taking advantage of the comment the my mate made before, when I, I'm speaking about medical leaves, I can say incapacity to refer. No, 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 no. That's a leave of illness. Oh, okay. And, okay. And it could be treated also like a, um, oh, okay, sick leave too, right? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. But the, yep. most, the most proper, the most proper term, Will be leave of illness uh, or leave of absence. Okay, got it. That one. I will. What of that? Thank sorry, you. guys. <laughs> illness double F. Sorry, that was okay, a typo. Okay. okay, well, thank you. So, what about you, Juan Carlos? How's everything? Oh, uh, today was a busy day. Uh, so far, I, I, I'm good. Uh, uh, a companion that I have who makes a lot, a lot of pressure over me, 
on my daily tasks is going to have, or uh, well, it's going to take two days of vacations um, this week. So <laughs> I'm so happy because to me, like, it's like a, a, a little of uh, space to rest and do my activities in, in my normal way without any kind of pressure over me. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, it's it's nice when when we have the chance to set our own pace. Yes. Yeah, I mean, and it's not easy. Not always you can do that because I mean, sometimes uh, usually nowadays in in uh, nowadays society and. Uh, job culture. I mean, everybody's working under pressure all the time, right? Yes. I, I, also, I can uh, guess maybe people is like a uh, suffering or under some kind of anxiety. 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 How do you say it? Yeah, anxiety. Anxiety. Yes, and that make the makes them like a. Uh, not be quiet uh, or while doing their tasks. It's like they want to go uh, further more, uh, further uh, to to um, be like uh, proactive uh, yeah. in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Well, but, you know, as we always say here, it's part of the game. What can we do? We need to face it every day. Yes. Thank you, Juan Carlos, and welcome. Hey, guys, before I continue, let me get the attendance, please. Uh, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagastume Díaz. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Uh, Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Jose Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. And Suleima Yvonne Moreno Hernandez. Present. Okay. In this room, maybe check on something right here just for a minute. Let's see. Okay, guys, I'm just checking. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. Perfect. Okay, let's continue. Well, before I move on, let me tell you, today we got us a, well, the first part, you know, is conversation, conversation with me directly, some of you, then conversation in groups, 
After that, we got the, after the conversations, we are going to go to, to the manual. We are going to do two exercises from the manual on page number 11. And we're going to have a conversation from the manual. It's good. A new vocabulary, always nice. Then we are going to get into the, after the conversation, comes Ana Claudia with her presentation. And after that, we go back to the manual to do one exercise. And finally, again, a teamwork having conversation. So we're gonna have fun tonight. That's the, the, the agenda for tonight. Let's continue because I still have some minutes so I can talk to you. And where's, uh, 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 let's see. Suleyma, hello, how are you? Hello, good evening. Good evening, how are you? How's everything? Uh, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, tell me what's new, how was your day? Um, um, today was so easy in my work. Uh, nothing new and I start uh, to make uh, some analyze uh, financial analyze uh, for the um, um, April in my in my company okay. but nothing nothing new okay so. It's been, it's been a good day for you, an easy one. Yeah, easy. <laughs> okay, okay. And tell me, Suleyma, what do you do in your company? Um, I am a process engineering department assistant. Okay. Um, I have to help to the process engineering supervisors in projects, activities, uh, I had to make some report from uh, mechanical department, human resources department. Uh, I had to help uh, or support all departments in my company with uh, with a program to make graphics and uh, different analyze of uh, reports data. Uh, for example, to make uh, graphics, individuals, paretos. Um, it's not Just the... that. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm in charge cool. to make the uh, conversion factors for some supplies, for example, elastic uh, labels, uh, transfers. I'm in charge of that. Okay, well, you keep busy. Yeah, but today was easy, so it's okay. so rare in my in my position. But today was a uh, an easy day. Okay, well, hmm, it's so weird. You can say it's so weird. It's so weird. No, weird, weird. Weird, weird. If you are talking in a, if you're having an informal conversation, if you're having a formal conversation, you have to say it's not common. Um, or it's not common happens. Okay. That's it, that would be more formal, okay? Okay, it's not usual. Yeah, it's not usual. Could be another option. Excellent. Thank you, Suleyma, and welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ana Claudia. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. You didn't want to talk to me. That's why you were complaining no. the microphone and stuff. No, yeah, know, you know. know. My classmates that live here in Santa Ana, they can tell you. <laughs> yeah. 
there is, uh, well, it's raining right now in my area. There were so many days not raining. So without, today, without rain. Without rain. So today was, uh, I, how do you say, the one in the Bible, diluvio. <laughs> And, and you know, oh. I remember that the roof uh, in my home is uh, recently replaced. So yeah, I know, I went, remember. My God, you just don't imagine there were a lot of... Um, Clicks. Clicks is right. Clicks. Clicks? Clicks. L-E-L-E-A-K-S. Clicks. Oh, okay, okay. Lot of Potatoes, leaks. you mean? Yes, a lot of leaks around my home. Also in my bedroom where I'm taking the class right now. And I was preparing the taking notes about the, <laughs> the, the, the so you are with you're in the class with your umbrella right here. My god, it's no, you know, uh, I'm kind of uh, uh, angry because. I think those guys they didn't. I told. I well. No, no. I you think they didn't do? You think they didn't do a? They didn't job? do their job exactly in the right way. The so, problem, the problem, you know, uh, that happens a lot. Uh, whenever they are doing something like that, sometimes you got them leaks because uh, I mean, there's no way to check out. If there's mm -hmm. gonna be a leak or not, it, until, until the it rain rains, comes. yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. until it rains. That is I mean, you can do your best in order to to avoid that problem, but that means, uh, well, you gotta spend a lot on materials, trying exactly. to see everything. But, and we don't know now if uh, uh, it's because maybe we think that there is still uh, remaining garbage in the roof on the roof but we don't know if it's uh, we don't know maybe tomorrow someone can come and check or we need to wait until next week but uh, you know problem, I feel the other problem is this Anna Claudia well it depends depending on the type of roof because exactly. if they apply the uh, thin if you got thin roof that's not a problem people can get up the following day no, the, but if it's uh, the, the traditional one, it's traditional. You got a, you got a problem. If we are talking about a, how you call it, Uralita, you got a problem. Exactly. I guess because you the, cannot the, go up. No, I guess they will need to replace one or two pieces because they show like water in them. Uh, Humidity, oh, I don't know if it's correct to say. Yeah, humidity. Okay. Humidity on them. And, and so it's so strange. I don't know if they are like broken. I don't know. Or, but also uh, I think there is uh, garbage street or, or pieces of things on the roof. <laughs> I don't Stuff. know. Stuff. But, but what I want to, to tell you is that I felt like in the past when I had a car and I was looking for a mechanic before I found the good one the last one I had my I met my god the previous one they always trying to to steal steal me and mm, no, because I'm a woman you, to trick hmm? you to trick, trick me you. exactly or because to I'm take woman. advantage you can say to take advantage exactly. of me. they were always trying and no, they... no, no. that's that's not because you're a woman i mean some people do it to whoever comes mm. but i have the same sensation right now that when looking for a mechanic so i feel the same with all these guys but ah, we need to find other one that fix this mess <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, besides yeah. that, uh, my day well, was very well. We will get you a good one. We will get you a good one. <laughs> Thank you, Anna Claudia. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, let me check the time. Yeah. 
Stay long time. Let's see who else is around. Hmm. Hey, Irene, how are you? Hello, Chair. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everything? Uh, um, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Tell me, how was your day? Okay. Today was a busy day to me because tomorrow we're going to celebrate the Mother's Day at the company. Uh, that I am working now, and then I'm I'm have to coordinate all the activities for this, and then for this reason today was a a busy a busy entire. Oh my gosh! I can imagine. I can imagine coordinating and. and... Okay and doing the uh, coordinating the stuff like that and preparing for an activity it's yes it's difficult and it's it takes time it's stressful yes and uh, we need to have all the things and um, to do on time and um, because we need that all the activities are going to be as, uh, as successful, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. we want everything to, to be successful, to come out okay, but uh, sometimes it's difficult. Yes, it's difficult, but uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, we uh, need to work every day because yeah. it's necessary. And and I I, I like my, my job. I enjoy it a lot. Oh, well, that's cool. It's cool that you can have fun in your job, that you enjoy it. I mean, that's always, that's, uh, actually, that's the main part of it, that you enjoy it, because otherwise it becomes like a, like a pain. I mean, it's a struggle every day. But if you enjoy what you do, even if you finish up your day like pretty tired, uh, you feel satisfied. Yes, yes. Every day, uh, uh, with me, I feel satisfied because... Um, I work in a in a beautiful and great area. Uh, I I work at human resources area, and this this kind of job, you can help from uh, to the other people, and these activities are so 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 successful for for every. For everyone. Okay, that's good. That's good. excellent. Thank you very much, Irene, and welcome. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Ileana. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Great. Fine. Great, fine. Okay, tell me, how was your day? <laughs> mm, it's been great. Or like you say, same old story, you know. Mm, was a slow day, same routine. Today was the same routine as always. Mm, something new today? Nah. Nothing new? Nothing new, no. You know, the same thing, a lot of paperwork to do, checking emails, uh, coordinating some meetings for the next week and the next, after the next week. <laughs> so uh, this month will be a very busy month. Uh, the, the, 
the coming the coming weeks coming weeks or the next yeah. weeks uh -huh. uh, it's gonna be interesting so you know the next week is my birthday yay oh cool yep mother's That's day nice mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you told me once yeah. that you share it with your mama. It's never yeah. just your birthday. It, yeah, it, with my family, it's more, we celebrate more the Mother's Day than my birthday. So the cake, actually, the cake always said, Happy Mother's Day. Oh, congratulations, mom. And my mom, my, my, and all my aunties. And well, my grandma that, that she passed the last year, but uh, this year uh, it's going to be a little different for all the family, but uh, I hope that that, that will be a, a different, but a good day. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, yep. let's hope this. And tell me, do you have do you give yourself a special present for your birthday on your birthday? Yeah, okay. not always, but sometimes I try to, 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 I don't know how to say it, to, I forgot this word, a uh, consentirme. Uh, pumper. Yeah, myself this year. Uh, I'm still thinking in my my present, the me from me. <laughs> from me but to me. The, from from me to me, sorry. But okay. maybe may, maybe shoes, you know, I love shoes. Maybe a pair of shoes, but I don't know. I have to check okay. my budget too. Yeah, because I have some some things to pay and you know, oh, I have yeah. to make numbers. Yeah. You know, I'll give you a present for you. You got a present. You're going to have your exposition next week on Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. You see, that's so good. I always keep you in my mind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> that's fine that's fine Ileana welcome nice having you here thank you teacher okay guys let's see well welcome all of you guys it's nice having you here but let's stop talking with me okay uh, uh, let's see I got a question for you. Actually, I got two questions for you. The first one is very simple, okay? You're going to ask each other a very, very simple and easy question. And the question goes like this. Would you rather live in the mountains or, in, or on the beach? Okay, would you rather live in the mountains or on the beach. Depending on your answers, you're going to explain why, okay? So you're gonna be working in small groups. Groups are created, you will have five minutes and then you're going to report to me. Please guys, jump in.
for Musa for. Ah, okay. There we go. So I, I don't know. <laughs> but it's good to find you here again. <laughs> yeah, thank awesome. you. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hi. We are chambreando with Ivonne. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, it's because we were a, a mates in previous yes. courses, the same as Ada and Irene, Heidi, and we are like finding each other again. It's so good. We are the survivors. Exactly, we are survivors. <laughs> Hello, Maria Alejandra. Hello. Sorry. Hello. I don't know who wants to start. Mm, I maybe, don't know to maybe me. Okay, go ahead. I, well, in my case, I prefer uh, mountain because I like uh, weather, nature, plants. Mm. Uh, I I like to go to take a walk. So for me, it's a, it's better because the beach is so hot, mm -hmm. and I don't like uh, a lot <laughs> that weather. Mm. Okay. In my case, I agree with you too because I rather uh, live in the mountain too. Not because the I don't like the beach. I, I like the beach. What happened is that uh, there is a, a high probability that a tsunami happens <laughs> being yeah. near the beach. And I think I will be safe. <laughs> I will be safe if I live in the mountain. That is what I think, but I don't know. But the, yeah. the weather is is beautiful on a forest yeah. environment. Yeah, the forest flowers. Mm -hmm. And this wow. and the and you smell flowers and there are a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And Maria Alejandra, what do you prefer? Mm -hmm. Maybe I prefer the mountain because I like the beach, but mm, only for uh, one day or two days, <laughs> but yeah, but for a lot of day, mm, I don't know. <laughs> I think that is a little hot. The weather is complicated. And I like the mountain, but I I am a, no sé, eh, soy bien friolenta. Mm. <laughs> uh, oh. Affect me all the change in the weather eh, directly. <laughs> mm, yes, me too, but eh, please tell me, how long did you stay at the beach? I don't know, maybe two days. Three days. Only I stay or have the opportunity to stay a uh, uh, one night mm. and one day. Ah, uh, okay. I don't stay in a lot of time. I thought the same as you in the past, but once I stayed in a more let me see one two three it was one week i stayed at the beach and it's beautiful you know but also i think is uh, the weather the the weather changed a lot because suddenly uh, there could be raining or Suddenly, it's a sunny day. There and could be rain. There could be rain, uh huh? Uh, or a sunny. It could be a sunny day. Or, um, but but the most I spent at the beach it was one week. Neither me believe it, <laughs> but it was a good experience. 
Yeah, that's nice. Which is nice, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I, I was, I was telling it to Irene and Ileana that in the, uh, I prefer the mountain. And one reason that I prefer mountain is because um, you can connect with the nature and disconnect to the city and all of that stuff. Disconnect with, from, the, from the city like. From, uh, disconnect from the city, yeah. And connect with the nature the trees okay. and the and some forest and hiding river, take yeah. a walk around. Have you had uh, both experiences? Have you stayed a long while for, uh, on the beach? Mm. Have you stayed this? on the beach like for more than one week? Ah, uh, no. No, and there is no. What about you, you guys? Um, more than a week, no. I usually stay just for the weekend. Just two days. Okay. We, we're poor. We're poor. Oh, me too. <laughs> me too. But uh, I mean, I had the opportunity uh, when I was younger, or when I was young, not young. When I was young. I had the opportunity a couple of times to stay like for two or three weeks. Oh my God, really? Wow. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. Yeah, it is. It is. I mean, it is nice, but it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that, I mean, and it's, that. I was at, uh, at uh, what is the name of this beach? Uh, El Tunco. Oh, El Tunco. Yeah, I used to spend a lot, a lot of time there. Cool. Yeah. But as I you, told you, I was young. You came back a uh, very tan. No, I came back very brown. <laughs> Not tan. <laughs> that was very brown. Yeah, but it was fun. I mean, I had. I have fun. The longest, let's see. Well, no, once I stayed there from December the 23rd until January the 6th, I guess, or the 7th. Oh, that you stay a, for, for, for Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Yeah, it was a hell of a party. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Believe me, it was. I was like, what? I was like 16 or 17 at that time. <laughs> I, I, you, I, I can imagine you were like, this kind of light actually exists, this craziness. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was fun because we were partying with my cousins like almost for one week straight. I mean, we used to go go to sleep around what 2 3 a.m in the morning wake up around 11 you know always breakfast with a big soup <laughs> and around breakfast three, slash lunch yeah <laughs> and around 3 4 p.m we were already partying again and it was crazy it was wow. and i have also lived in the mountains I live in the mountains like for five years. Beautiful. Where? I love the weather. Uh, well, for a period of time here in El Salvador and um, in a town by by called Chiltipan, right there in the Libertad. I was working there. And oh. Beautiful, beautiful place and the weather delicious. Oh my oh. God, you have both experiences. Yeah, nice, nice. To live, now that I'm old, you know, this ancient person, now I will choose uh, the mountain for living. For me, the beach now is just to go. I like, I enjoy it. An afternoon, 
early in the morning, but man, the heat, I hate it. Actually, Danny told us that that he hates the heat too. Yeah. I mean, and, and Irene. Yeah, my too. old bones don't stand that. <laughs> my old bones. Oh, it's, it's cool, it's cool, but uh, I mean, it's just that uh, I enjoy it too much, I guess. Maybe. And now I want uh, something more peaceful. Yeah. It's like uh, the same goes like for me, I, I enjoy music, but now that I, the age that I am right now, I'm not that interested like in concerts, you know, going, attending a concert. The only one that I wanted to attend was uh, Sabina's. But, <laughs> no, no, Joaquin <laughs> Sabina it was one that I wanted. I like to. Sabina too. <laughs> yeah. And, I like Sabina but, too. But if you had asked me like 10 years ago, man, the first life in colors was so good. Believe me, it was great. I had fun, but I was younger. Yeah. But well, and Irene, Irene is too quiet. Why are you so quiet, Irene? I'm a little tired, but but I uh, talking about that uh, topic. I told uh, I told them that I hate the beach. I prefer I prefer the mountain because I love the cold weather, and Me I too. and I love to see the animals and listen to the where yeah to the weather to the yes. wind the yeah. wind yes yeah, to, be, to be to be on a mountain when it's windy beautiful it's beautiful yes. but you know, once i live in a place let me tell you i live in a place where uh, when there came uh, one year there came a lot of strong winds the roof of a house, the house was like this, like in this level. The church was in this level. The roof of this house came off, fell, uh, flew over the roof of the church, the Catholic church, and fell down mm -hmm. on the other side. Man, that's terrible. Believe me. Amazing. You... Amazing yeah, landscape. Yes. I love uh, this kind of, of landscape and I prefer this, this kind of trip. And um, about the beach, I don't like it so much because I hate the sun. Okay, it's almost time, but listen to me. About the beach, beach, beach. Beach. Yeah. Beach. No, no, no. no, no. Softer, wish. Wish, wish. No me golpeé mucho la B. Wish, wish. Wish, wish, wish. Like that, yeah. Because you were saying some other thing. Let's go back. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Let me see. Everybody's coming. Yep. In about a few seconds. But let's start. Let's not waste time. Who's coming right now? Fernando. Hello, Fernando. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Good evening. Sorry. Sorry, I'm just arriving at home and oh. it's raining a lot here. Okay, if you want me, I can give you a couple of minutes. Okay, Mitch. 
No problem, no problem. Let's see, where's Francisco? I don't remember watching Francisco around here. Yep. Oh, but most probably he is in the in Zoom's limbo, you know, that happens. Let's see. Uh, 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 um. Heidi, tell me, Heidi, would you rather live in the mountain or on the beach? Uh, the beach teacher, just because of the food. Okay, just because <laughs> of the food. The weather doesn't matter, it's just the food. <laughs> exactly. So that means that you enjoy seafood. I love it. Okay, now Heidi, tell me about your classmate. What were their answers, if you remember? The same. It's that, you know, you have much more fun at the beach than mountain. Mountain must for resting. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, remember that. As we say the other day, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But Marquito was telling us, hey, what about if there is a tsunami? You're not safe. <laughs> yeah, that happens. That happens. Some people get scared for that. Now, in my case, uh, well, I was telling your classmate, I have enjoyed, I have lived almost in both places. I enjoy more the mountains. To, because now, now that I'm old, I enjoy it more because for resting, and I don't like. You're the, not old. You're not old. Yeah, but I have lived a lot, <laughs> a lot. That makes me old. Believe me. Don't say you're old. We are almost the same age. I don't feel like being old. Yeah, you're younger than me. <laughs> I mean, I count my years not on 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 just on days. I'm. I am counting them on experiences. Believe me. <laughs> I've been there, done that almost with everything. Thank you, Heidi. Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> well, I'm, I don't know if I ask this person this question, because I'm almost certain of the answer. Jose Wilfredo, tell me, would you rather live on a mountain or in the or in the beach? Tell me. I would rather live in the beach. Oh, the yeah, I was wondering <laughs> what would be your answer. You spend almost every every free time you got, you go to the beach. Yes, teacher. I'm I'm a white person, but now I'm a black one. Okay. I'm Tom. You're pretty Tom, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's another thing that I don't like. You get too sticky, man. <laughs> nah, but yeah, but it's like fun. Haiti say, like Haiti said, the food is really good to drink. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Thank you, Jose. You're welcome. Let's see, Alejandro. Mr. Alejandro Sagastume, what about you? Yeah, I will. I would rather live in in the beach because of the fun and the sports that you can practice there, like paddle boarding, surfing, and also the seafood that you can that you can take. Also, there is a, the option of taking a tan once in a while. Uh, so okay. Uh, I, I, I would rather the, the beach for that. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Yeah, some people enjoy sun tanning. Some people that is not me, man, I stand under the sun for 30 minutes and I get something. Believe me, I can get a tan so fast. I don't know what's the problem with my skin, but let's see, let's see. I got, uh, yeah, I still got time for one more and that one's going to be uh, 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 Roxana, tell me, Roxana, what about you? Hi, good evening. Well, in my case, if I could choose uh, one option, and I choose the mountain because uh, for me, it's a calm place 
And I love fresh weather. And I could wear warm clothes. And to be honest, I prefer the places with a few people. That's the reason why. Uh, I don't choose the beach because it's always full. There is a lot of person and there, there is a lot of uh, parties and it's not my mood. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Now let me get the second attendance. You are so very kind. Let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Alfredo Ale Alejandro Alfredo Segasco Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present teacher. Eliana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Sorry, present. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Irina Susana Cuellar Ordanés. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. As I told you, now we are going to go work a little bit on the, on the manual. Let me just check on something. Okay. Now it's ready. Let's see, guys. I got to share with you the screen. We are going to go to the manual. And we are working on page number 11, exercise two. The conversation, the, the situation is this. Tim and Jane are managers at a telecommunications company. They are discussing managerial styles. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. And the conversation goes as follows. Tim, did you hear? No one from Frank's team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely, precisely, I'm sorry, precisely. He's the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the laces fur. The what? You know, like John, the laid back manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I hear he is the manager who lets his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it, for sure. Okay, now, 
before anything else happens and before we practice it again, because I know that this question is coming. Like said fair, the, that expression, like said fair, uh, it's an attitude, okay? It's when you don't want to get involved in any situation. You don't want to interfere, okay? So you let things take their own course. Uh, you, you practice abstention, okay? That's when you are, uh, uh, that's when you are acting, when you are using laissez fur. And that word actually, it's, I mean, it's a, of course, it's a French word, but it's used in English. Uh, in this context, it belongs to English, okay? So remember the pronunciation again, laissez fur, laissez fur. Like for okay? That's the way they pronounce it in, in English, okay? Like for because in French, that would be lo, 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 so, lo, so, lo, so for. It's a little bit different because the sound, I'm sorry, I need to, uh, 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 to vocalize different. It's lo, so for, okay? But in English, it's Let's say, let's say fur. Let's go again to the, to the, to the, to the conversation. Okay. I will repeat one more time, but this time I need to record it for you guys. So you have it there. And it goes like this. Tim, did you hear? No one from Frank's team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely, he's the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the place of fur. The what? You know, like John the laid back manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I hear he is the manager who lets his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it, for sure. Teacher. Yep. I have a question in the last, no, in the, before the, in the team interaction, before the last one. Oh, I know I heard. Is I, I heard. heard. Yeah, I heard. Is like an O or is like I heard? Heard, heard, heard. heard. Ah, okay. I heard. Heard. Okay, got it. Yeah, it's just that when you're saying it like fast, you go like, oh, I know, I heard. He's the manager. You make it shorter. Mm, exactly, it's shorter. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, guys, now. The practice of the conversation, we are going to change it a little bit. Usually, you practice it one-on-one, -on -one, and that's it, right? Now, you are going to practice it in bigger groups, okay? You're going to be practicing the conversation in groups of four members each, okay? And let me see there's gonna be one group of five members. You will have five minutes. And let me explain to you why we are doing it like this. Because I need you to be practicing and trying to help each other. I mean, I want you and I need you to do something. If you know the proper pronunciation of a word and you hear that your classmate is not pronouncing it correctly, help him out or help her out. Also, you got another tool. That is the fact that I am always recording the conversation for you. So perhaps if it's not your turn, you can be listening and that way you can be helping your classmate when he or she makes a mistake. This is called a peer correction, 
okay? And it's very important that you feel confident enough to help each other and that you trust each other enough to be able to help, okay? So that's why we are going to work it differently. From now on, depending on the type of conversation or the vocabulary, we're going to perhaps sometimes be working with just in pairs, but sometimes in bigger groups. So you will have from five to seven minutes. I will be jumping from group to group, checking out how is it going, okay? Depending on that, perhaps I will make it longer or shorter. Please, jump in. Send a screenshot on the group of WhatsApp. Yep. Okay. But if you have your the manual is on page eleven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Um, okay. Thank you. So let's get started. Who would like to start? With mm, Jane and Tim. I can start with someone else. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to start. Irene. Yes. Okay. And team. Irene and I. Okay. Team, did you hear? No one from Frank's team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of theory X who thinks every I'm sorry, country. Irene. Danny, do you have a correction there? Um, I think uh, precisely. 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 Okay. Precisely. 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 He is the advocate of theory X who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. Sorry, I lost style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Okay, I'm sorry, again. Again, remember, okay. you're not just reading, role play. Okay. Do you remember? Role play, so yep. I'm the one you need to be more stronger when you say okay. that sentence, okay? Okay. Again? Keep on, keep on. Okay. Go to what? If he thinks like that, I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. I'm Me sorry. Too, but... mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm not just reading role play i know that you can read nice <laughs> role play well remember that, that <laughs> sentence that <laughs> sentence goes like i'm the one you're stronger there okay <laughs> okay let's repeat it <laughs> cut one two three <laughs> okay well his team won't go too far if he Things like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too, but I heard John from sales is having a lot of success with the laces fryer. The what? You know, like John, 
the late, the late back manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I heard he's the manager who let his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does. Perdón. Yeah, we may want to ask him how the how he does it. For sure. Okay. okay. Uh, Roxanne, laid back. You pronounce pretty well both words. But in this case, if you notice, there is a hyphen there, right? Laid back. Like that, laid back. You see, it's different. It's different if you say laid back, laid back. Okay, thank you. Laid back. Okay. Yuri X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, he still won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear from I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the lazy sphere. The what? You know, like John, the laid back manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I heard he is the manager who lets his subordinate do whatever they want. Yeah, we might want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Perfect, ladies. You do something very, very good that is not just real, you uh, role play. And that's very important because uh, it helps us to, to get into the, the idea. I mean, we are not just saying sentences, we are communicating an idea. It's very important for you guys also to role play, okay? If it's an exclamation like, uh, I'm the one, she's stronger, it's emphasizing that point. Don't forget to do it, it's very important. Okay. Yeah. Precisely, and uh, the other is advocate. Precisely, Precisely uh -huh. yes. Okay. Okay. Advocate. 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 Okay. Yeah, advocate. 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 I okay, remember the avocado. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. Come on, Maria Alejandra. I was wondering when you were going to talk about food, my dear. It seems, it seems Sorry, like that for me too. Can we show? I no. just remember the movie, The Devil's Advocate. Advocate. <laughs> okay. Tim, did you hear? No one. Oh, I'm Brand? sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will interrupt you, Maria. I'm back. Okay. Uh, I know that your your normal pitch is soft, and that's your style, but. With your style, I need you. If the sentence, if the idea demands for you to, to say the sentence, to deliver the idea stronger, do it stronger. Remember, it's not just reading in this case. We are at the time that we are role playing, okay? We are representing. So don't just don't say the sentence. Try to communicate the idea. Got it? Okay, I try to feel the sentence. <laughs> you want to practice again, Adam? You finished, guys? No. Did you practice all? No, teacher. Mm, yeah, everybody practiced. Okay, we're Let's almost done. Let's go. Okay. 60 seconds. Mm.
Okay, okay. Let's see. We are still on time. Okay, well, let's start because of the time we need to move forward faster. Let's see, who do I have here? Uh, Mr. Alejandro Sagastume and Ileana, please. Alejandro, you'll start. Okay. Team, did you hear? No one from, from Frank team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits, who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely. He's the advocate of Theory X who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear, I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with, he, with the less spur. The what? You know, like John, the layback manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I heard he's the manager who lets his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Right, excellent. Danny and Irene, please. Okay. Danny, you start. Okay. Uh, team, did you hear? No one for no one from Frank's team is, is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of Terry X who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the laziest payer. The what? You know, like John, the layback manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I hear he's a manager who lets his subordinate do whatever they want. Yeah, we might want to take to ask him how, how he does it. For sure? Okay, very well. Excellent, guys. Now, let's see. Ana Claudia and Francisco. Ana Claudia, okay. you'll start. Okay. Tim, did you hear? No one from Frank's team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I am the one who makes decisions in the best interest of, of my team. Me too. But I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the laces fair. That what? You know, like John, the laid back manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I hear he is the manager Unless his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it. 
Okay, Ana Claudia, lace it fur. Lace it fur. Lace it fur. Yeah, because when you said it, I'm sorry, it sounds like lazy. Lazy, okay, lazy fur. No, it's lazy. Lace fur. Lace fur. Mm, like it's a little weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> lace it, lace it, lace it fur. Let's say fair. They say fair. Okay, I will try. Yeah. That's better. That's better. Thank you. Okay, thank now, you. Now let's see. Jose Wilfredo and Roxana. Jose Wilfredo, you start. Okay. Just let me look for the conversation. <laughs> okay. And so, Tim, did you hear no one from France? Tim? Is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you from for lunch? Precisely, he is the advocate of theory X, who thinks every every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go to fair if they think like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too, but I heard John from Celsius having a lot of success with the laser fur. The what? You know, like John, the layback manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I heard I heard he is the manager who lets his subordinate do whatever they want. Yeah. We may want to ask him how does how he does it. For sure. Perfect. Thank you. Luis Orellana and Suleyma Ivan. Luis, you'll start. Okay, let's see, I guess this is not available. Ada, you're around? Yes, teacher. Okay, Ada, you and Suleyma. Suleyma, you'll start. Okay. Tim, did you hear? No one from France team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the one who sees the next part? The next to do for lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, if he wants to go to fire, if they think like that, I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I, the one who make a decision in the best interest of my team. Me too, but I hear John from sales. He's having a lot of success with the lazy fur. He what? You know, like John, the laid back manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I heard he is the manager who lets his subordinate do whatever they want. They yeah. Want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Very well, very well. Well done, Nada. Thank you. Now let's see, Heidi. Heidi and Juan Carlos. Heidi, do start. Okay. Kim, did you hear? No one from France team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Precisely, he is the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. 
but I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with he with the basis fair. The what? You know, like John, the laid back manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I heard he is a manager who lets his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Very well done. Now let's see. Fernando and Jesus Min. Fernando, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Tim, did you hear? No one from Francine is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who sits next to you from lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well, his team won't go too far in this. If he thinks like that, I personally prefer a more paternalistic style in the one who makes decision in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the let's it fail. The what? You know, like John, the labor manager who takes the bad seat role. Oh, I know. I heard he is the manager who lets his subordinates do whatever they want. Yeah. We may want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Perfect. Marcos Ayala and Maria Alejandra. Marcos, you'll start. <clears throat> okay. Tim, do you hear? No one, no one from France team is getting the bonus this month. Is the man who see next to you for lunch? Precisely. He is the advocate of Theory X, who thinks every single employee is lazy. Well. His team won't go to fair if he thinks lies that personally prefer a more paternalistic style and the ones who make decisions in the best interesting on my team. Me too, but I hear John from Cell is having a lot of success with the lazy fair. The what? You know, like John, the layback manager who takes the backseat role. Oh, I know. I hear is the manager who let his subordinate do whatever they want. Yeah, we may want to ask him how he does it. For sure. Okay, let's see. Marcos, precisely. 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 And employee. Employee. Okay, uh, Maria Alejandra. You just made a little mistake in the first sentence you read. Is he <laughs> the man? You said um, he is the man. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, just that little thing. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, to be honest with you, I really like and enjoy your pronunciation. And to be honest with you, to be ooh, strictly honest, uh, it was better than previous ones. So I guess it worked good for you, the activity. Now the time has come, the one that we've been waiting for. Where's Anna Claudia? Disconnected? Oh my God. Ah, no, she's here. <laughs> I don't know if you can, because I know I don't have access to your screen, right? You don't, but uh, 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 so if I try uh, to share, it says how disabled participant. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crossing fingers to open. <laughs> oh my god, that's right. <laughs> okay. okay. I was about before the presentation opens, I, I wanted to ask my classmate uh, who well you heard that today is may 
fourth. But it's so common to see memes of <laughs> uh, relating this date to Star Wars uh, things. And I was curious and I wanted to know what happened, what people relate this date and they they uh, make this type of grieving in all the day, all day long. And I don't know who knows how many movies for this uh, Star Wars are in total. I don't know if my classmate, one of you can tell me how many movies. I guess like mm, eight or nine movies. Mm -hmm. Three trilogies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My God. <laughs> and who's seen all of them? No, no one? No, me. I'm not a Star Wars fan at me all. <laughs> me neither. I, I'm, I'm not a uh, I Star Wars fan. Well, uh, now you can uh, uh, click on the next one, teacher. Well, what I found looking for curious facts in this uh, about this date is that this slogan was originally used in 1978 to greet for uh, the 4th of July when uh, Margaret Thatcher won and she became the first woman as premier in United Kingdom. Just imagine in England, two women, uh, they, they are leaving the country, Queen Elizabeth and her. Just imagine how the <laughs> United Kingdom changed. In fact, uh, she won in 1978 the election. She became the uh, prime minister and for England. And the next year, what happened is that her party, her colleagues, they made like, uh, they make a, an announcement or greeting and they make an announcement in one newspaper. And the announcement is in the next, in the next slide teacher. They were greeting her and the original war is May the 4th be with you, Maggie. Congratulations. So the 4th is referring to the 4th of May. What happened then is that remember in uh, May uh, 1975, I guess it was, yes, uh, May 1975, uh, the, uh, first, uh, the premiere for the first movie of Star Wars came up. And it was so common to hear, may the force be with you, not the force. <laughs> it's may the force be with you. So every year in, in, in United Kingdom in England, it was like so common, oh, the, the 4th of May to, congrat to, to, to celebrate or to greet uh, Margaret Thatcher. By the way, she was known as the Iron Woman because um, she implemented and made changes for United Kingdom. Um, is the only woman in the recent history uh, that it was uh, oh, um, taking a, a pre, pre, being like a president, being a premier is like a president for us to understand. And she has been, the first and the only woman in the United Kingdom because the king is so different. We're talking about laws and stuff like that for the, the works in the country. And she was the first woman. And she made different, uh, she made changes. For example, the tax went lower in her era it was lower and she made other changes but the funny thing is that this uh, type of greeting started because of her and you can go to the next slide teacher uh, and the uh, fact that i found is that uh, the star wars day has been adopted to establish a global meaning for the annual world war celebration it was unofficially observed for the K 
case, but I also found that in 2019, California lawmakers vote to declare May 4 at a Star Wars Day in recognition of Disney Light Galaxy Age opening. So now, by law in California, it's not like the Star Wars Day. So May is uh, notable because uh, in that month, the original Star Wars premiere was released, but also its creator, George Lucas, celebrate uh, his birthday on May 14. And uh, there is there was like a switch. So because of the movie, the phrase made the fourth we with you is so popular. So people adapted uh, this phrase and related to Star Wars. And that is uh, nowadays known as the Star Wars Day. So May 4 was chosen as the day of the Star Wars Day because of the phrase May the 4th be with you, which is a pun of the phrase May the 4th be with you. With you. So that is a funny fact that I wanted to share with you that I found. I didn't know why people greet in this day with May the 4th with, with you. And there are a lot of memes, but it's so funny that this started in 1978. And that's it. Okay, quite interesting, right? Excellent, very well done. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for, thanks for sharing with us that with a little bit of info. Now let me just get rid of this. Thanks a lot. And just some little details that I would like to, to share, perhaps to, Please? to clarify. Uh, do you know it's the Iron Lady? Margaret Thatcher was the Iron Lady, not the Iron Lady. Iron Lady. Oh, yeah, that's right. Iron Lady. I had it here brought down. <laughs> I don't lay this. Okay, now uh, I got another one for you. That is. Um, I forgot how to say when someone. I, gobierna un país. Uh, is the prime minister, one. right? The prime, the, prime the prime minister. The prime minister. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, yeah, she was a prime yeah, minister. The the and you know, the Iron Lady was a uh, nickname she got it from a uh, Soviet uh, journalist. Uh huh, uh huh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, now uh, I got another uh, for you. Let me see, because I took, I was taking notes. I'm sorry. Awesome. No, but that's good. That is notes. this exercise four, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Flip flop. Flip flops are the chanclas, no? Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay, but now also uh, it's a verb, a very informal verb. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's when you make a change of attitude, direction, or policy. Okay. Mm, okay. Just because uh, I just found chanclas and I say, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but in the sentence was that, let me see, it was flip-flopped. It was flip-flopped because it was in past. Uh, it was, the idea was that they changed the idea. They changed the meaning. Okay. Uh-huh, exactly. It says the classic slogan was original flip flopped. Okay, yeah, it was changed, it was torn. Uh -huh. Okay. And the last one that I know that uh, perhaps some of you know it, uh, pawn. Pawn, okay, pawn is a, it's a joke, okay? Mm -hmm. But uh, pawn is mostly used in British, okay? In what? Like a pawn. In British English, it's more used in British than in America. It is uh, used in America? Yes, it is. Okay. But um, they, they better say a prank. Just that a pawn mm -hmm. is a joke. And to be specifically to you, uh, it's a pun we, it's a joke we make with words, okay? Mm, okay. 
to be specific, it's a pun with, it's a, a joke with made with words. Okay. Now, guys, wow, excellent. Well, those are the little details. For the rest, uh, thank you. Congrats, very well done, very well done. And Juan Carlos goes tomorrow. That's Juan Carlos. Somewhere around. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, okay. Excellent, excellent. Now, guys, let me, because we still need to cover something else. Okay, now, we got us here this text. You have to match the managerial styles to, the, this, to their descriptions. Compare your answers with a partner. We got democratic, paternalistic, theory Y, theory X, lazy per, autocratic. Okay, guys, you're going to be working in the same groups. You're going to have four minutes for this activity because we are running against time. And groups are created and open. Please jump in. And let me just get some people here that went away. Then I change you from group. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The management style where the manager retains full control. Yes. I think is Out. F. Autocratic. Yep. Autocratic. You're right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Employee. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Employees are encouraged to participate and influence decision making. Uh, democratic. Hey, democratic. Democratic. Remember, autocratic. 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 And the other one is democratic. Dem Democratic. 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 Okay. Democratic. 
Number auto, three. Auto, 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 auto. Uh, but it's right if 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 I say autocratic. Uh, it's just that it's auto, auto. Yeah. Okay. Out, no. Autocratic. No, no, no. Just give me a second. I need to. It will sound weird to you, but I need to see my mouth. Auto. Okay. The sound uh, phonetically, it's almost like a D. Your tongue must be touching the 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 ceiling of your of your mouth, but not as an R at the front. Auto, auto. Okay. I'm sorry. I will explain it in Spanish. Perdón, voy a explicar en español. El sonido es como una D. Fonéticamente es como de una D, pero esta D suena. Cuando nosotros topamos la punta de la lengua, un poco, calcule un centímetro atrás de los dientes superiores, de los dientes de arriba. Okay, está tocando el cielo de la boca. Auto, autocratic. So you autocratic. Like that. Autocratic. Now, in democratic, in democratic, uh, now I got confused. I'm not confused. It's just that these sounds are like, Kind of uh, uh, uh. in the other one is democratic. Democratic. This is easy. Democratic. Democratic. So autocratic. Democratic. Autocratic. Democratic. So don't say. Uh, well, what? What was it you wanted to say? Well, don't say it. Autocratic. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I'm sorry for interrupting you guys. I'll go to another. Don't no, no, no worry, teacher. Participate in influence decisions making, right? Okay. Uh, the the first one is autocratic. Okay. Auto, 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 autocratic. Autocratic. Auto. Auto. Autocratic. Okay. Remember, it's not an R. No es una R como comúnmente pronunciamos la R, con la lengua enrollada, sino que como Ahora. que fuera Ahora. el sonido de una D, pero la lengua está tocando el cielo y la boca un poquito atrás de los dientes. ¿Ok? Wow. Ahora. Oh, no. Ahora. 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 No es una R, es una como D. Autocratic. Autocratic. La edad. Pero, pero, Ana Claudia, la Ahora. lengua va a tocar el cielo y la boca como que fuéramos a pronunciar la R en español. Auto, autocratic. Auto, autocratic. Autocratic. You see, it sounds different than if you twist it. Suena diferente que si usted le enrolla. Si usted le enrolla sería auto. Pero en este caso es auto. Autocratic. 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 La lengua es el one control of my tongue. Pero un poquito adelante, un poquito atrás de los dientes. Autocratic. Tres cuartos adelante, dos pasos para atrás. Other other credit, other credit, other credit. Yep. Hey Ramon, welcome. I'm sorry I hadn't seen you. <laughs> okay, okay, no. So in that. Finish, guys. Finish, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, Heidi, say autocratic. Autocratic. Okay, you are twisting your tongue too much. Not twisting in this case. Auto, auto. Auto. Like that, autocratic. Autocratic. Excellent. Suleyma, what about you? Autocratic. Okay, auto, auto, autocratic. Auto, autocratic. Like that. Juan Carlos? Uh, autocratic. Perfect. Roxana? Autocratic. Say again. Autocratic. Now, democratic. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, let's go to the main room. Okay.
Okay, guys, we're just waiting for everybody to come back in a few seconds. Please don't go, don't go. I see some faces that are very tired today, right? Let's see, let's see. Let's just wait for everybody and we're gonna do the exercise quite fast. Just a couple of seconds more. Okay, everybody's here. Mm. Okay, guys. No, 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 let me see. I'll give you the order and I will ask some of you just to help me out with the pronunciation, okay? The reading. Please check out if you did it okay. So that's the idea, no? Okay, this is the order. Now let's see. Democratic. Uh, Eliana, read it, please. Democratic. Democratic. Mm, employees are encouraged to participate and influence decision making. Okay, letter B, Suleyma. Okay, paternalistic. Managers make decisions in the best interest of their workers. Excellent. Francisco, let us see. That is sure. Um, managers who think a start to light to work are motivated by different factors. Theory Y, perfect. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, what? Marcos, you got letter D. Please read it. Manager, manager think the worker are lazy and don't like to work. Okay, that's theory X. Let's see, Heidi, you got E. Little or no direction is provided by the manager. Okay, and Maria Alejandra, you got letter uh, F. The management style while the manager re retain full control, autocratic. Re Excellent, retains, retains. Okay guys, it goes like this, the management style where the manager retains full control. Employees are encouraged to participate and influence decision-making. Managers make decisions in the best interest of their workers. Leader or not direction is provided by the manager. Managers think workers are lazy and don't like to work. Managers who think staff like to work and are motivated by different factors. Perfect. Okay, guys, again. An excellent class. Let me get the final attendance. Please, very please. Okay, let's see. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alejandro Alfredo Sagasto Medias. Present teacher. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Dani Josué García Martínez. Present teacher. Eloisa Beatriz Mercado Mancía. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. 
Present teacher. Hi, Eugenia Saldero de Rivas. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Irene Azucena Cuellar Albanés. Present. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Romero López. Present teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present teacher. Roberto Luis Sumaña Orellana. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Steven Vladimir Villacorta Rivera. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Thank you very much, guys. It was a very interesting class. Hope to see you tomorrow. Be on time. Bye bye. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Good, good night, night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine. Just fine. Let me do just a little something here. Okay. It's just that Instafor doesn't allow me to be with more than one in this space this time. Okay. Grammar. Grammar, right? Yeah, teacher. Wow. Today's class was very nice. A lot of vocabulary, right? Yeah, yeah that's right. And it's really important because yeah, it's most true. of the words that are uh, on this, uh, well, on this class, most of the words that were on this class, we commonly use. Yeah. I mean, the thing is that there are certain words that I, they are uh, everyday words, like uh, pretty common, right? Yeah, yeah. But there are certain that are like very, very interesting because they are new or perhaps we know them in a different context. Like, you know, you know about flip-flop. Yeah, yeah. Flip -flop, you, you identify flip-flops are the sandals, right? Yeah. A type of sandals. But perhaps you didn't know that it was a verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now, I will give you uh, man, I'll give you a place for you to check out that, to be honest with you, whenever I'm looking for info to explain something, I use it a lot because the, the, the explanations are beautiful. The well, only thing you need to be uh, aware of is that uh, it's uh, mostly some of the examples are going to be perhaps a little bit weird for you because they are not in American English. Hmm. Okay. Some of them are British. British. Yeah. But uh, under each team, you got uh, exercises. Actually, the one that I have given to you, it's about the exercises. But if you go up, you will watch uh, explanations. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you click on explanations, they give you the explanation of the exercise. You got or, like, uh, if you go to the basics, simple present, I mean, you got the whole explanation and then you can do the exercise. Uh -huh. And I was checking right now the, the, the web page that you shared with me. 
and also has one particular uh, son, or I don't know if we can say part, that you could choose your English level. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah really you can. and you can even yes. take a, a quiz. Yeah, you can take a quick quiz. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. also bookmark the, the, the book. Okay, if you go to the explanations, if you go down, you will see oh. something that I will advise you to do is this, because I mean, if, if you get into the basics, it's very important, but you got a very good base. So I will advise you to go to, to the one that goes questions, conditionals, phrasal verbs. Those are the ones that are really going to help you more because at the level of English you are right now, I mean, you don't need to know that uh, specifically the basic grammar because you're not going to teach it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. You I are know going you... to you're going to use it to apply it. Yeah. So I want you to look at the examples to get the idea of the explanation, but don't focus that much on the explanation. Look at the examples. Yeah. Because that's what you really need. And that's what's going to help you a lot in order to, to express yourself better and to understand some of the things that you are going to be hearing on your on a daily basis because of your job because those people they they speak english i mean it's uh, yeah. it's a uh, it's an official language for them yeah it's so of they, son of them <laughs> yeah well yeah but in the country it's an official language so i mean supposedly oh, yeah. they they got to uh yeah. of course it's a huge country and actually they got many languages and dialects it's i mean it's complex very complex yeah. in that country yeah. but a uh, something that you will realize after a little while is that perhaps some phrases that you have heard and you have understood you will realize that they can also be applied in a different context and have a different meaning believe yeah. me that info is going to help you a lot check it out if you have any doubt about any specific one, just let me know, send me the link so I can get directly to it and I can help you out, okay? Okay, perfect teacher, perfect. Um, I really appreciate this information and I will take advantage and I will review it. Yeah, check it out, it's, it's awesome. I mean, as I tell you, that place, I really love it because it's, it's very, it's simple to understand, but it doesn't give you the things like in a, in a simplistic language. They make it easy to understand. Yeah. They make it easy to understand, but with a good level of vocabulary, and that's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, I mean, you are almost in the advanced level, so you need that. Yeah. Check it out on your free time and let me know if you need any help. Excellent teacher, I will tell you whatever uh, inconvenience or whatever um, question. I'll give, I I give you, get. I'll give you, I'll give you a phrase. Any doubt that arises. Any doubt that arises. That's the idea, right? Yeah. Any doubt that arises. Okay, perfect. A pleasure, my friend. Have a good night. Thank you, you too, teacher, and, and thank you for your time. No problem, no problem. See you tomorrow. See you, teacher. Take care. Wow, nice class. Very productive. Like it, like it, like it. And class is over.